what's up everyone? How's it going everyone? So, my name is Jared and I'm the local game player. So, I hope everyone is having a great day. What's up everyone? So, all right. So, I'm ready to roll. So, today's video is going to be a complete tutorial on how to set up and uh, come and on how to play uh, your Game Boy Advance uh, games onto your desktop PC or gaming PC by using an emulator called Visual Boy Advance. So, I hope so. Let's get started with the video. But before, before we do, please uh, be sure to like and subscribe to my uh, to my channel and uh, like this video and uh, leave a comment into the video so let us get started and here we go and let's get roll okay so um what we're gonna do is a uh, is is a specific uh, emulator that you want uh, to download and to get for all of yourself so uh, so what I'm gonna do is type in this this uh, hold on okay. let's do uh, okay. visual boy advance okay so there's literally a website for it. Like, uh, okay. So what we, what, so there is an actual official website. So I'll leave that link in the description. So like, so like this emulator can play, uh, play uh, Game Boy games or Game Boy Advance games. With, as long as you have to get uh, the ROM for the game, uh, ROM itself. So, uh, so what we're going to do is going to download Visual Boy Advance. So, so I'll leave the link in the description for this video. So like, um, Okay, so so this will download uh, very. Uh, this will. This is how you literally download. Okay, and there we go. It's already downloaded. So, all right. So we're gonna open the file and uh, and extract it. And hold on. give me one second now. Give me one good second here. Let me extract all of it on. Okay. Yep, we're going to extract it and and put it on our desktop. So okay. as soon as this gets done. So all right. Okay, now we're gonna close that out and we're going to completely and we're gonna close this out and get rid of this one. Okay, okay so now okay, here is Visual Boy of So, what you need to do in order to do that, so in order to run it, we have to click on it. You can do it however you want, you can load it however you want, you can even you can even use it uh, run as an administrator. So, we're gonna do that and so, all right. so. All right. Now, so it's time to resize. So there is. You can resize this. So once you load it, okay. So now, okay. So what you want to do now is, uh, okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do in order to set it up. So, so this emulator it can play uh, Game Boy Advance games and the Game Boy games. So um, as long as you have the ROM for it, then you'll be fine. Okay. So. So what we're gonna do, so to make it as smooth as possible, so so what we're gonna do is go to frame skip and, and go into option. Hold on, just one sec. Go into options and the frame skip. Okay. So what we're gonna do is uh, click on zip. So we don't want we don't want the frame skip to be on two. We want it to be on zero because literally because it. So it can play perfectly while while playing the game, uh, like 60 frames per second or something. So that will be perfect. So, right. okay. So that will. So zero is the best option you have. You can uh, you can boost it up to nine, but it will be laggy if you boost it up to nine. Okay, but okay. Other than that, okay. So next up, what we want to do again. Okay. So for our video, um. I just prefer to leave these alone. So, uh, so what these do is so when, so if you go to one right here, so uh, you can change the size by going into uh, to uh, by clicking on different size. So, so see, there's one, two, and three, four. So if I click on two, then it will change the screen size and 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 so on and so on. If you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. Okay. So, but anywho, we're going to go back to um. We're gonna go back to that, and we're gonna we're gonna go back to um one. Uh, I mean, three, three. There we go. Okay, that's way better. Okay, so all right. So now for our sounds. So when you for our sound, what you want is 44 gigahertz. I mean, of sound quality because literally that's what you want for high quality sound. Okay, not only that. Okay, there is a render method. Uh, so there is a render method uh, like uh, for this. So what? So what you want to do? I suggest uh, Direct 3D Open or OpenGL. It's up to you on how you want to set up your uh, your Visual Boy Advance emulator. So like, 
So, for, for my bed, I'm gonna go with Direct 3D so far. Okay. So now, okay. So now, what I'm gonna do now is go, is go into the... Um, hold on, give me a sec. Okay. So now, what I'm gonna do is, like, okay. So, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to do for all of you people, so, like... Okay, so, now what I'm gonna show you is, like, to set up the controller for my... Is to set up the controller. You can use a USB uh, gaming controller, so, so, such as, like, a Logitech controller, so... So, give me one second. So, this is the controller I'm using, which is to have... Uh, which is a Logitech F310. Uh, so, so, for the D... So, we're gonna use the D-pad as uh, up and... As an up arrow, up, down, left, right arrow, so, so, up. Hold on, just one second. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to reconnect my controller, which, oh my god, that is just ridiculous. Why? I just unplug, I unplugged my controller knowing that I forgot how. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? Seriously. Okay. Anywho, we're gonna, we're gonna go back to the. Anywho, where's the... It's a boy. All oh, right, damn it. Okay. Okay, anywho, we're gonna go back in very quickly. So we're gonna go back to... We're gonna go back to controllers and... Controllers... Where's that at? Okay, forgive me, everyone. Sometimes I'm confused at this emulator. Okay, so we're gonna go to controller one. So the D-pad is up, down, left, right. And the A and B buttons are these two right here. So A and B, and and these two are the L and R buttons. So we're gonna L and R. Okay, select and start. Okay, so that's pretty much all. Okay, there is a speed uh, a toggle, but we're not gonna deal with that. So we're gonna leave those alone, and that's pretty much how you set your controller. Okay, so now what we want to do is go to games. Uh, go get games. Okay. Okay, you can get games for like Okay, 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 so now I have I have games on my PC so like okay. So but we're going to go open so in order to load uh, ROMs on your uh, on your desktop PC So so we're gonna go uh, hold on one second um, Okay, give me one second on my account Okay, open, and, okay, so, right, game on ROM, so, as you can see, we're gonna load Super Mario Land, okay, so, as you can see, that, there we go, we got loaded, and we're gonna see how great it runs. See, look at that, okay, see, look at that, now we're talking. I got it officially loading, and see, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you people, so, like, so, like, in case if, like, Okay. So this is for this is the Game Boy game uh, Super Mario Land. So this is literally a quick test run to see how great the game plays and and I really love Super Mario Land. I actually love I actually love how the style of the game is and it, it's awesome and it brings me so many memories back in the day when I used to play this when I was a little kid. So like um yeah pretty much okay other than that. Other than that, we're just gonna completely uh, finish the level. We're gonna quickly finish the level to see how great. Okay. Okay. Oh well. Okay. We're gonna. Okay. Unless, unless I die, but yeah, maybe we're gonna. Okay. okay. There we go. We finished the level, and that was a quick run. Okay. So like. Okay, there we go. That should do it. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're enough of that. We're gonna close that one and okay. So we're gonna run another test, uh, which is gonna, which gonna run another test. So what, what I'm gonna run is Mario Luigi Superstar Saga to see how great it runs for the Game Boy Advance game. So. Okay, so as you can see, it this is literally sort of a 60 frames per second game because they. Like, this is literally 60 frames per second, uh, so as you can see, so this is why I put uh, the frame skip on zero because it, because if you put it on nine or anything like that, so as you can see, this is, so this is the reason why I don't like it that way because literally it'll lag. 
big time, and I don't like that. I mean, especially if I wanted to do a great gameplay, uh, such as like this one, so like, so like, yeah, that's pretty much why. So, other than that, like, so other than that, like, everything went great, as you can see, so I hope. So you can resize it however you want. You can resize it however you want, uh, depending on what you think on, on how you want it to be. So uh, other than that, so you can literally say uh, save the game by using save states by going into file and then see these two red things right here, such as like save game and um, load game. So okay, so watch this. Okay, so if I save the game, then okay, see it says run state one. Okay, and if I load it, and if I load it, then. There we go, it loaded perfectly. So, uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you, everyone. I hope, uh, I hope you all like this video. So, we're gonna close this out, and I hope you all like this video. So, oh yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, right, everyone, so thank you for watching the video, and I hope you all like this video. So, if you all like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So, my name is Jared, and I'm the local game player, and I'm happy to do this at Gaming Channel for a living because, like, I, I just wanted to show this, show everyone the world.